So good afternoon. Namaskar. Namaskar. Namaskar, sir. <laughs> Please share your PPT once to Fine. check. It's okay. Yes, yes. You can share the PPT and check it also. Check, check. Is it visible, sir? Yes, absolutely visible. Thank you, is visible. <laughs> Hello. I am Am I in the meeting, sir? Yes, you are in the meeting. Why can't I see my screen? Your voice is audible. Screen was visible. Now it is not showing. Okay. One second, yes, one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am unmuted. So I am unmuted. I am unmuted. I think I've got something. Yes, tool system is on. Say, coin. Is it okay now? You speak for a yeah, I think it's okay now. Yes, it's okay. Once again, share your screen so that we can understand that it's okay. Everything's fine. Yes, ma'am, it's up. Okay, ma'am. Absolutely fine.
מתחיל לעשות תואר מחבר את So, good afternoon, everyone. Radhika, ma'am, you are uh, there? Just waiting that the correct five to five o'clock to reach. Why? There are seven or eight people are on the lobby. Let me have and uh, allow them to enter firstly. Uh, there is uh, uh, some announcement regarding that Veer Gatha project. Yes, just wait. Just okay, wait, sir. Yes, um, for that only, it's a request to today. So good, uh, good afternoon and good evening to all of you and especially to our beloved RP2 because every day after she's not tired at all, she her full of energy, she's there, bundle of energies there. Keep up, let God grace her with this energy level also. Now, ma'am, it's a request before uh, winding up. You just request all the school on behalf of Arivarta Sahodaya that increase the, those who schools are yet not registered or submitted the uh, Viragada project as uh, things, please ask them to submit. Because la uh, last two years, we are always on the first and now this year, still we are fourth or fifth positions only. And that's only three, four days only left. So once again, to good afternoon to everybody. And we have the wonderful our training coordinator is there. He's all ready to always. And to all the members of the Arivarta Sahodeo School Complex, our executive members, thank you. And good uh, once, uh, good afternoon to everybody. It's an earnest request from us that the, being a teachers, please see that your class participation from grade 3 to 12 all the students are taken part or not if not if still you are not able to connect it please collect it through the whatsapp also and the best one select it and post it in the uh, you can say that so you can submit the top three selected one on the um, site also please do it it's a request uh, not only from the arivarta so it's uh, uh, even even tomorrow and today there is a meeting with us uh, uh, um, we are decided with the Nalanda Sahodaya and tomorrow we will have with all, all the uh, members, we will do it. And it's a request once again to all the principals who are joined, all the teachers, please ensure that your class participation should be 100%. Now, thank you, uh, Mithali, ma'am. Always ready to the Thursday where all the participants were eagerly waiting to listen to you and learn from you. And welcome to Arivata Sahodaya School Complex. And thank you for your commitment to thank you thank you so much ma'am and before why request for this uh Veragada project yeah ma'am sure so uh once again a very big thank you to Aravata Sahodia for giving me this opportunity to interact with the educational fraternity of Patna and nearby areas so uh through this platform, you know, we share so many ideas. We learn from each other. Actually, you're not learning from me. And the same thing is happening with me also. We both are learning from each other. So today, uh, I'm going to share a very, very 
a simple uh, topic which is experiential learning you know this name seems to be very difficult a big name and we all think that how will we do it in the classroom but uh, trust me there are many a uh, times in the school uh, calendar there are many events which may not be directly related to something which is in our book or which is in the textbook or a chapter which is there in science social science or english but it is very much a part of the curriculum integrated in the curriculum so during those events also very beautifully very seamlessly we can practice experiential learning so uh, today i got the opportunity to discuss this topic with you so let me just uh, give me the permission to share my screen so that i can be better with it okay so i hope now that my screen is visible to all of you and you can see the first slide that is online training program on experiential learning and active pedagogy now the very first word is there are two three new words i believe here the first one is experiential learning of course and the other is active pedagogy or rather if i break it up active is one word and pedagogy is one so we have three new words here experiential learning and active and pedagogy so what is experiential learning we are going to discuss today learning from experiences any kind of experience it can be a cognitive experience it can be an emotional experience that is affective domain experience it could be a psychomotor experience it could be any kind of experience remember whenever we talk about learning you know there are certain terms which you should be very familiar with by now like whenever we are talking about learning learning happens through the three h the head the hand and the heart so head is called cognitive domain heart is called the affective domain and hands are called the psychomotor domain so when you have an experience it could be a head experience it could be a hand experience it could be a heart experience that means experience could be cognitive the experience could be psychomotor or the experience could be affective so learning from experience is known as experiential learning it's as simple as this but then when we see experience then experience can be further classified like i told you experience can be of three types cognitive affective psychomotor furthermore the experience can be classified into various types that we will discuss very shortly then the next word is active so what is active so if experiential learning is an active pedagogy there must be some passive pedagogy also because the opposite of active verb active is passive okay active voice passive voice we study in english so agar experiential learning is an active pedagogy then there must be something as passive pedagogy also this also we'll discuss today and the most important thing is what is pedagogy so i hope by now those who attend my sessions regularly i hope you must be understanding that pedagogy means the method of teaching the teaching methodology how you teach in the class you go to the class and use your chalk and duster you go to the class and give a lecture you go to the class and give a demonstration you go to the class and allow the children to play and learn what is your pedagogy or you mix and match so pedagogy simply means the method of teaching so in our one one hour session today we are going to dive into experiential learning and active pedagogy basically so let's try to understand better abhi you can see these two pics which are very much explanatory see in one pic something went wrong with the experiment and there's a brah boom that is also learn please remember that the first step to success is failure you cannot expect anyone in life to be successful without tasting failure so when failure comes you should be very happy you should be rest assured now success will follow but many of us you know before we could reach success we quit because we meet failure pehle failure se mulaqat ho jati hai aur hame aisa lagta hai ki success tak hum pahunch hi nahi sakte but again i would like to reiterate myself that the first step to success is failure or you can see the second second figure where this child is trying to do something good ab iska kya ho raha hai aap dekh rahe ho hare patte nikal rahe hain lal patte nikal rahe hain so the child is trying to do something good so good and bad both of that combined together 
to form experiential learning because life is full of experiences and these experiences are sometimes sweet and sometimes sour but remember both of them are good for learning like for example all of us each one of us sitting here must have heard this story you can see from the the pic and tell me can anyone tell me what could be the name of the story what is the name of the story which i'm going to show you now anyone through the chat box can you tell me which story am i talking about this picture itself is telling you it is self explanatory can you tell me the name of the story before i tell you anyone from the chat box what is the name of the story that we are going to talk about thirsty crow oh wonderful ma'am wonderful 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 i'm sure many of you must be trying to chat also it is a thirsty crow ek kawa tha wo pyasa tha wo ghade ke paas pahuncha ghade ka pani niche tha usne bagal mein dekha kankar gira hua tha kankar uthaya kankar dala pani upar aa gaya kawa ne pee liya pyas bujha li this is one of the classic examples of experiential learning now many of you have not tried this i know but i'm sure at least 1% of the audience must have tried this even i have tried if there is actually a ghada and there's little water in that ghada and if you put the pebbles or the stones on the ghada do you really think that the level of the water will rise and can you drink that water actually friends the answer is no this is was a story conceptualized by somebody but nobody wanted to test the truth of the story nobody wanted to test we have been listening to the story since ages and ages and ages and still we narrate the story to our children but none of us want to actually try ki bhai ye kahani sachi hai kya ek ghade mein jo to thoda sa pani hoga agar hum usme kankar dalenge to kya pani itne upar aa jayega ki kahwa usko pee lega kahwa ki chonch kitni badi hoti hai so this is actually a false story to a large extent if not fully so aapko yaad rakhna hoga कि अगर आपके घड़े में थोड़ा ज्यादा पानी है जहां तक चोच नहीं पहुंच रही है उसकी उसमें आप थोड़ा सा कंकर डालोगे तो पानी का लेवल ऊपर आएगा लेकिन अगर बहुत कम पानी है और उसमें आप कंकर डालोगे तो कौआ पानी नहीं पी पाएगा मैं कौए के परस्पेक्टिव से आपको समझा रही हूँ तो वट कुड बी दैट वे आउट सी द कौआ इज डूइंग समथिंग मैक्सिम द कौआ कैन डू दिस बट वट कुड बी दैटर वे आउट टू ड्रिंक लाइक दिस सो एक्सपीरियंस अगर आप एक्सपीरियंस नहीं करेंगे तो आप बहुत सारे थियोरिटिकल बातें अपने बच्चों को बताते रहेंगे और हम बताते रहते भी हैं सदियों से बता रहे हैं सदियों तक बताएंगे बच्चों को लेकिन जो सच्चाई है हम वहां तक नहीं पहुंच पाएंगे ठीक है तो अगर कौ स्ट्रॉ यूज कर लेता तो कौए के लिए पानी पीना बहुत ज्यादा आसान हो जाता ये एक्सपीरियंस है कौए ने सीखा और अब वो पेबल्स की जगह स्ट्रॉ यूज करता है पीने के लिए तो मे बी द न्यू वर्जन ऑफ द स्टोरी कुड बी The thirsty crow uses a straw. अब उसे पेबल्स चुनने की जरूरत नहीं है अब वो स्ट्रॉ से ही पानी पी लेगा तो ये क्या था ये एक्सपीरियंस के थ्रू लर्निंग थी कि अगर पानी बहुत नीचे है अगर आप उसमें पेबल्स डाल भी रहे हो तो पानी इतने ऊपर नहीं आएगा कि कौआ चोच डालकर पी ले इसलिए इजियर क्या है कि कौआ स्ट्रॉ डाल के पिए सो दिस इज वॉट एक्सपीरियंस टीचर्स आस रिमेंबर इफ यूर अ फॉलोअर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग प्लीज रिमेंबर nobody is superior nobody is inferior but nobody is equal either people are simply unique and incomparable so that means this tells us that every two people on this earth every two student on this earth are different they are very very different from each other so if you want to compare a dog and a horse a lion and a tiger maybe a fish and a monkey then you even if you choose one of them as a winner i think it would be a wrong decision so remember two students in your classroom are also very very different how you can take the best out of them is about experiential learning so what is experiential learning let's come to define it experiential learning takes place when a person involved in an activity looks back and evaluates it determines what was useful or important to remember and uses this information to perform another activity great so for example diwali is around the corner me main naukri bhi karti hu aap bhi sare log naukri karte ho aur hame diwali ki safai bhi karni hai now achanak abhi jo aane wala sunday hai us din mujhe yaad hai are diwali aa gayi do din bacha hua hai 
एक आध संडे आज पूरे घर की सफाई कर लेनी है क्या ये पॉसिबल होगा क्या ये वाकई अच्छे तरीके से पॉसिबल हो पाएगा अगर हम सिर्फ संडे को सफाई करेंगे तो हमारी सफाई अधूरी होगी हमारी सफाई थोड़ी बहुत होगी हमारी सफाई इधर से थोड़ी उधर से थोड़ी उधर से थोड़ी होगी पूरी सफाई नहीं हो पाएगी तो मान लीजिए इस साल हमने एक्सपीरियंस किया कि नहीं भाई दिवाली के दो दिन पहले अगर एक संडे को सारी सफाई करना चाहोगे तो पॉसिबल नहीं तो हम अगली दिवाली में अगर इस एक्सपीरियंस को याद नहीं रखे अगर इस एक्सपीरियंस की लर्निंग पे रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं करें तो हम अगली दिवाली में भी वही गलती करें और अगर हम इस दिवाली की गलती से सीखे तो मे भी अगली दिवाली पंद्रह दिन पहले एक महीने पहले हम एक प्लान बना लेंगे घर मेरे रूम में मेरे घर में कितने कमरे हैं कितनी बालकनीज है अगर लॉन एरिया है अगर टेरेस है अगर बालकनी है अगर वॉशरूम्स है किचन है ये है वो है कबर्स है वॉटरूम है वो फलाना 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 एक लिस्ट बनाए और प्लान करें किस दिन क्या सफाई करनी है तो मच बिफोर दिवाली आई थिंक योर हाउस विल बी अप टू डेट एंड यू विल नॉट हैव टू पैनिक ऑन द लास्ट डे बट हाउ दिस गुड थिंग विल हैपन This good result will only happen, my dear teachers, when you reflect upon your last Diwali's mistakes. So remember this: experience will not teach you anything. I have said in the beginning, what did I say? Experiential learning means when you learn from your experiences. But remember, experience will teach you nothing if you don't sit back and reflect upon your experiences. You have to reflect upon your experience. What did I learn from this experience? और आपको ये याद रखना है कि अगली बार मुझे ये गलती नहीं दोहरानी है नहीं तो एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग जिंदगी भर हम करते रह जाएंगे बच्चों को करवाते रह जाएंगे सीखेगा बच्चा कुछ नहीं अब तो स्कूल में बच्चों को देखते हैं दे कम टू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफिस दे गो टू द टीचर दे आर पनिश्ड बिकॉज ऑफ अ मिस्टेक अगेन आफ्टर अ मंथ दे रिपीट द सेम मिस्टेक आफ्टर टेन डेज दे रिपीट द सेम मिस्टेक आफ्टर सेवन डेज दे रिपीट द सेम मिस्टेक रीजन they do not reflect upon their mistakes and thus they do not learn it yani what is a key word to experiential learning the key word to experiential learning is reflection whenever you want learning to take place you have to reflect upon your previous mistakes so remember every experience whether it's small or big whether it's good or bad holds within it a blessing of some kind what kind of blessing it is even if it's a bad experience you have a blessing what is a blessing that you learn for the future so this you should always keep in mind never never ever humiliate any experience in your life even if it's what's a worst experience you learned for the future provided you want to learn if you don't reflect if you don't want to learn remember even the best experiences in your life will not teach you anything and kabhi kabhi kuch acha ho jayega by fluke लेकिन हमेशा अच्छा नहीं होगा हमेशा अगर आप अच्छा करना चाहते हो रिपीट करना चाहते हो एक्सपीरियंसेस को या अगर एक बार आपसे गलती होगी आप उसको रिपीट नहीं करना चाहते हो तो आपको अपने एक्सपीरियंसेस को रिफ्लेक्ट करना होगा और सोचना होगा क्या सही हुआ और क्या गलत हुआ सो एक्सपीरियंस इज लाइफ ग्रेटेस्ट टीचर प्रोवाइडेड आई स्टॉप यूर प्रोवाइडेड इट इज फॉलो विथ रिफ्लेक्शन अदरवाइज No matter endless number of experiences you have in your life, you'll not learn anything. But if your experience is coordinated along with reflection, then the lessons will be great in your life. Now, suppose we have an experience, and we have a learning from an experience. How would the two are different? What makes the two different? Can anyone please tell me or chat in the box? A discussion. We are doing now. Our experience we. और एक जगह सिर्फ एक्सपीरियंस हुई और एक जगह लर्निंग फ्रॉम एन एक्सपीरियंस हुई क्यों दोनों अलग अलग है एक्सपीरियंस हुआ खाली और या लर्निंग हुई दोनों अलग अलग क्यों है वाई आर द टू डिफरेंट एनीवन वाई आर द टू डिफरेंट एक जगह सिर्फ एक्सपीरियंस हुई मुझे एक मैंने कुछ काम किया मुझे एक्सपीरियंस हुआ उस काम का ठीक है मैंने साइकिल चलाना सीख लिया मुझे एक्सपीरियंस हुआ साइकिल कैसे चलाया जाता है और एक जगह मैंने साइकिल चलाना सीखा सिर्फ साइकिल चलाना नहीं सीखा मैंने अच्छे से साइकिल चलाना सीखा मेरी लर्निंग हुई हाउ टू बी अ गुड साइकिल राइटर व्हाई व्हाई इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू कैन एनीवन से आई हैव जस्ट डिस्कस्ड इट कैन एनीवन टेल मी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू द डिफरेंस इज 
that in the first case you only had an experience and in the second case you reflected upon your experience you thought about your experience and thus you learned from your experience okay so learning will only happen when you reflect upon your experiences without that there's no learning happening now experiential learning there are certain misconceptions like when i said what is experiential learning it is experiential learning means learning from experience it is an incomplete definition it is a it is not a completely correct definition why correct definition hai to aapko ye likhna hoga ki experiential learning means learning from experiences and reflecting upon them and thinking about them ki mujhe kya galti hui main aur acha kaise kar sakta tha main agli baar kya kya nahi karunga main agli baar aur kya kya karunga ये सारी चीज सो जस्ट बिकॉज इट्स हैंड ऑन डजेंट मीन इट्स माइंड ऑन आपने कर लिया एक बार यूट्यूब देख देख कर पनीर बसंती बहार बनाना सीख लिया इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि आप हर बार पनीर बसंती बहार बना लोगे आप हर बार यूट्यूब देख कर बनाओगे फिर आप हर बार भूल जाओगे क्योंकि आप बना रहे हैं यूट्यूब देख कर लेकिन सोच नहीं रहे हैं यू नॉट थिंकिंग यू नॉट रिफ्लेक्टिंग एवरी टाइम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक पनीर बसंती बहार यू हैव टू वॉच द यूट्यूब YouTube gone, your knowledge gone, your things gone. Okay, now we do not learn from experience. We learn from reflecting on that experience. I've already told you this. Now let us try to understand this. Also, I've discussed many a times with many of you. How do we actually learn? Where? What is the? <clears throat> what is the role of experience in learning? So, आप ये मत सोचो कि हम सिर्फ एक्सपीरियंस ही लर्न करते हैं बहुत तरीके से लर्न करते हैं कैसे सबसे पहले हम बिहेवियर से लर्न करते हैं जैसे एक छोटा बच्चा है वो अगर किसी को देखेगा कि वो पान खा रहा है तो वो भी पान खाएगा अगर छोटा बच्चा देख सुनेगा किसी कोई गाली दे रहा है तो वो भी गाली देना शुरू कर देगा अगर वो छोटा बच्चा देखेगा कि आप टॉफी का रैपर डस्टबिन में फेंकते हैं तो वो भी फेंकेगा क्यों बिकॉज वो बिहेवियर दूसरों का देख सीख रहा है दूसरा है नॉलेज से आप सीखते हैं आपको अच्छी अच्छी बातें सिखाई जाती है स्कूल में यू शुड ऑलवेज टेल द ट्रूथ यू शुड थ्रो द गार्बेज इन द डस्टबिन यू शुड नॉट डू दिस यू शुड डू दिस तो आप नॉलेज से चीजें सीखते हैं फिर क्या होता है जब हमारे पास नॉलेज होती है ना तो आवर ओन माइंड स्टार्ट थिंकिंग ग्रोइंग हम खुद से नॉलेज को कंस्ट्रक्ट करना शुरू कर देते हैं अच्छा ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर ऐसा है तो ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब ऐसा होगा तो ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर हो सकता है ऐसा हो कभी हम सही होते हैं कभी हम गलत होते हैं तो वी स्टार्ट कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द नॉलेज जिसको हम एक्सट्रापोलेशन कहते हैं हम नॉलेज को बढ़ाते हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस नॉलेज एंड देन कम्स एक्सपीरियंशियलिज्म वी एक्सपीरियंस समथिंग इन आवर लाइफ फेलियर सक्सेस गुड बैड व्हाट एवर वी एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम दैट वी लर्न एंड फाइनली यू नो व्हेन यू ग्रो अप यू बिकम एन एडल्ट You learn from social and contextual things. Like, आपको पता है अगर मान लीजिए आप अमेरिका में हैं, मान लीजिए हम बिहार में हैं, for example, हम हजार बार traffic rules तोड़ेंगे, लेकिन जब हम अमेरिका जाएंगे, दिल्ली जाएंगे, मुंबई जाएंगे, तो हम नहीं तोड़ेंगे, क्यों? क्योंकि हमको पता है, अरे यार, यहाँ का कानून बड़ा तगड़ा है। अगर हमने यहाँ कानून तोड़ा, तो तो I getting my point? So please understand that experiential learning is a high order learning. First, children learn from behavior, then cognitivism, that is from knowledge, then construct the knowledge, then experientialism comes. So schools may generally behavior learning hoti hai, make dusre ka dekh kar sikhte hai, achha bura jo bhi hai. Aap classroom mein knowledge dhe rahe hai, toh obviously cognitivism hai hi. Bacche us knowledge ke saap se construct bhi kar rahe hai, apne nahe nahe thoughts. जैसे आपने सेंटेंस लिखना सिखा दिया बच्चा पैराग्राफ लिख रहा है दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिविज्म कि हमने तो सेंटेंस लिखना सिखाया लेकिन बच्चा पैराग्राफ भी लिख रहा है नाउ इट इज हाई टाइम टीचर्स प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस एक्सपीरियंशियलिज्म इन योर क्लासेस इन योर स्कूल सो दैट चिल्ड्रन स्टार्ट लर्निंग फ्रॉम देयर एक्सपीरियंसेस जैसे मैं एग्जांपल देती हूं फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे मेरे स्कूल में क्या हुआ कि इस साल जब गर्मी की गर्मी का टाइम था तो हमने बच्चों को अनाउंस किया कि वी विल हैव समर कैंप तो बहुत सारे बच्चे मेरे पास आए और उन्होंने कहा मैम विल नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन समर कैंप मैंने कहा क्या हो गया मैम लास्ट ईयर ये हुआ था जो उनको शायद नहीं अच्छा लगा था एंड दे सेड मैम सो वी डोंट वांट टू पार्टिसिपेट सो व्हाट इज दिस दे आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम देयर एक्सपीरियंस लास्ट ईयर एक्सपीरियंस वाज नॉट गुड सो दे सेड ये वो अच्छा नहीं हुआ था इसलिए ये भी अच्छा नहीं होगा यू ऑलरेडी एक्सपीरियंशियलिज्म चल रहा था स्कूल 
So children are trying to learn from experience. Now when we did this summer camp, it was a huge success. So now again, from the next summer camp, maybe I don't have to work hard. The kids will take their consent. Because they have enjoyed their enjoy summer camp. I get my point. Next. Now I will tell you, I started the beginning, I told you that there are some active methods of learning, some passive methods of learning. So what is active method of learning? What is passive method of learning? Passive method of learning is where the teacher says and the child listens. The child absorbs. The child is in the recipient end. And the teacher is in the talking end. Or doing it. But when the children become the doer, then it becomes active learning. Because, always remember, if you're teaching and there's no learning happening, no use of the teaching. Kahi aapne seek, suna hai, teaching pyramid, teaching taxonomy, teaching methods, nahi. Hota kya hai? What are the learning pyramid? Learning taxonomy. Learning. We emphasize on learning. Aap kisi bhi method se padhao dunia mein. Aap dunia ke sabse basic method se padhao. Koi nahi. But the learning should happen. Learning should happen. That's very, very important. Just give me one second, teach, uh, dear audience. There is somebody. Just give me a sec. Okay, now uh, we were into this. Are you am I audible? We were here. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. ma'am. Okay, okay, thank you. So, this is the learning pyramid. So, I was telling you that how do you teach teaching? Learning should happen. So, you have seen a lot of time, you have seen a lot of time, the teaching learning cycle. We don't say it's a teaching cycle. We say it's a teaching learning cycle. And if the teacher is teaching, then learning should also happen. If that is not happening, your teaching is of no use. So, always remember this. That learning should simultaneously happen in a classroom where the teacher is trying to teach. So what I want to tell you is active methods of learning are those methods where the recipient is active. And that passive learning methods are those methods where the recipient is inactive. And of course, who is at the receiving end in the classroom? Our students. So if our students are active, then it is known as active method of teaching. When our students are passive, they're just listening, 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 and all, taking things, taking things, accepting, and then this is called passive method. So always remember this lecture method. My dear teachers, this is the absorbency capacity 5%. Yani agar aap lecture method se padhate apne class, me se 5% loon ko samaj me aata. Agar aap reading karate bachcho se, percent बच्चे समझते हैं अगर आप ऑडियो विजुअल यूज करते हैं स्मार्ट बोर्ड क्लास है आपके स्कूल में सारे क्लासरूम्स में स्मार्ट बोर्ड है आप ले जाते हैं बच्चों को आप ऑडियो विजुअल कराते हैं तो आपका क्या है आपके से 20% बच्चे समझते हैं और अगर आप डेमोंस्ट्रेशन करते हो तो ओनली 30% स्टूडेंट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन आई से डेमोंस्ट्रेशन आई मीन द टीचर इज डेमोंस्ट्रेटिंग द स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट डूइंग दैट ऑन द कंट्रेरी आप लाल वाले हिस्से को देखिए when there's group discussion happening, then it is 50% children understand what's happening in the classroom. When it's practiced by doing, 75% children understand. But then, you demonstrate it, it's okay, but you can also do it. And when the children are teaching each other, we are teaching, but the teacher will become a teacher, so 90% learning happens. Still, there's a gap of 10%, which, may be, which can be covered up by a mixture of all this. So I hope you understand why I'm trying to tell you that experiential learning is an active method of teaching.
teaching and learning. It is not passive because in experiential learning, children are learning by doing. So it is supposed to be a, a very, very active method of learning. And upar mein chitne bhi aapko dekh rahe, please in ko avoid kare ka apne classroom mein. Aapko result padiya nahi milega. Aur jab result nahi milega, ta apko music sunna padega apne management ka, apne parents ka. So generally class mein result isliye nahi aata. Ki humare teachers zada tar active method nahi, passive method pe focus karte hai. Lecture method, reading method, audio visual kahi kahi hota hai. Demonstration bhi bhoat kam hota hai. Basically our method of teaching is lecture method. So we do not get the apt results. Now, now let, let me dive into the real experiential learning process. Yaha se experiential learning ka process shuru hota hai. Jaise, for example, ek choti si activity aapke saan hai on your screens. Let's observe the simple example of learning cycle. Sare bacho ko shock hota hai. Chai wo ladka ho ya wo ladki ho. Wo mujhe cycle chalana hai, mujhe cycle chalana hai, mujhe cycle chalana hai. Mami, papa ek naya cycle khareed kar dete hai bacche ko. Aur bacha cycle chalana shuru kar dete hai. Thik hai? Now, jab bacha cycle chalata hai, to ye sawal uske dimag mein aane chahiye. What happened when he first decided to learn to ride a bicycle? Of course, child was very excited. Child wanted, child lagging karta hai parents ki bichha cycle karit ke do, mujhe cycle karit ke do, mujhe ye wali do, mujhe wo wali do. What do you do first? Aur jab aapko cycle mil jalti hai, sabse bhaila kaam aap kya karte ho? Phir kya karte ho? Aur ye jo kiya aapne kaam, is mein aapne kuch learning ki? Any learning happened or not? How did you know that you have mastered cycling? Bachcha self-assessment karta hai. या उसके मम्मी पापा करते हैं या उसको फ्रेंड करते हैं तुम तो सीख के साइकिल चलाना वेरी गुड अब तुम रोड पे चला सकते हो व्हेन डिड यू बिगिन टू राइड इंडिपेंडेंटली ऑन द रोड्स नाउ विद एवरी राइड डिड यू इंप्रूव योरसेल्फ विद एवरी राइड डिड यू इंप्रूव योरसेल्फ हाउ कैन यू से दिस दिस कुड बी द फॉर मी जहां तक मेरा सवाल है दिस कुड बी द Best example of experiential learning. Got my point? Yaha per dekhi ab experiential learning kaha ho rhi? Sab se pehle to ye learning by doing hai. Bacha cycle pe chadta hai, cycle chalata hai. Learning by doing. Woh girta hai, phir uhtta hai. Woh ho shakta nahi gire. Ho sakta hai pehle paddle pe takta hai, pair paunch nahi dikkat ho rhi hai. Teda baat raha hai, kabhi seedha baat raha hai. Yani woh apni experience se seek raha hai, mujhe kaise baat na comfortable hooga. Kaise baat na pe mein smoothly chala sakta hoon. Mein giru nahi iske liye mujhe kya karna hooga. Mein fast cycle chala hoon, iske liye mujhe kya karna hooga. Whatever it is, Papa will ask him to go. Show the bass and tap also, the bass and tap. Understood? Now, so, now, you think, have you learned something like this? साइकिल चलाना तो ठीक है बहुत पहले की बात होगी अब आप भूल गए होंगे क्या रिसेंटली आपने ऐसा कुछ सीखा जिसमें आपने अपनी एक्सपीरियंस से अपने लर्निंग प्रोसेस को बेटर किया शार्पन किया स्मूथ किया सिमलेस किया डिड यू लर्न समथिंग लाइक दिस प्लीज क्लोज योर आईज फॉर वन मिनट एंड थिंक डू यू हैव एनी सच एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ फर्स्ट टाइम लर्निंग Any experience? Anyone could share through the chat box. I'm eagerly waiting to hear from some of you. Where your own experience taught you how to improve? Any such experience anybody has? See, experiential learning is not about Jupiter and Mars. It's not an alien concept. It's a very common concept. All of us use it. All of us use it. But how? Anyone? Nobody wants to share? Everybody is sleeping. Am I that boring? Okay. Any one of these you learnt? How to prepare tea, how to bake a cake, how to drive a car, how to do laundry, how to swim, how to click pictures, learn photography, any, any such thing that you learned. And trust me, all these things which I've enlisted here, of course, the list is not exhaustive. But whatever I've listed here, it's all through practice by doing. 
and not only by doing every time you bake a cake you have you make some mistakes and then next time you bake you become better if you reflect of course otherwise no betterment will be there and every time you'll bake a bad cake every picture that you click the next picture could be better if you focus if you reflect upon your thoughts so there's a cycle ab is cycle ko samjhe technically hamara experiential learnings kya cycle follow karta hai in the language of education what happens is bike riding ka example ab dekhe sabse pehle ek experience hota hai sabse pehle ek naya bike aata hai bachcha us pe kood jata hai chalata hai या तो गिरता है या तो चलाता है या तो ब्रेक फेल हो जाता है या फिर हड्डी टूट जाती है या फिर स्मूथ राइड रहती है वट जो भी उसके साथ होता है वो उसके बारे में सोचता है रिफ्लेक्शन सोचने के बाद वो अपने आप को इम्प्रूव करता है नए तरीके से चलाने की कोशिश करता है और फाइनली हर राइड के साथ वो बेटर होता है वो सोचता है अगले में क्या बेटर करूँ फिर क्या बेटर करूँ फिर क्या बेटर करूँ वो कॉन्सेप्टलाइज करता है चीजों को और वो बेहतर 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 होता जाता है दिस इज नोन एज एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग साइकिल यानी सबसे पहले यू गेन एन एक्सपीरियंस देन यू रिफ्लेक्ट अपॉन इट देन यू एक्सपेरिमेंट दोज रिफ्लेक्शन एंड देन यू गो अड एक्सट्रापोलेशन ऑफ योर नॉलेज एबस्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्सेप्टलाइजेशन आर है ठीक है फिर आप सोचते हैं एक ही चक्कर पे साइकिल चलाओ पहाड़ों पे ले चक्कर चलाओ बाइक साइकिल चलाओ स्पीड रेस करो कैसे कैसे ठीक है खड़े होकर साइकिल चलाओ एक पार एक हाथ छोड़कर साइकिल चलाओ कर तब करना आप शुरू कर देते हैं दैट इज योर एब्स्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइजेशन क्लियर नाउ दिस इज नोन एज फॉल्स एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग जो अभी हमने पढ़ा बस उसी को मैं एक नाम दे रही फॉल नाम के एक एजुकेशनिस्ट थे जिन्होंने इस एक्सपीरियंशियल साइकिल मॉडल को डिजाइन किया जिसमें उनका कहना था कि सबसे पहले हम एक एक्टिविटी करते हैं साइकिल चला लेते हैं उसके बाद हम सोचते हैं क्या गलत हुआ क्या सही हुआ और इंप्रूवमेंट कैसे की जा सकती है फिर हम उसको उस रिफ्लेक्शन के आधार पर हम अपने एक्टिविटी को और बेहतर करते हैं ठीक है ओके और फाइनली वी अप्लाई एंड बिकम बेटर and better and better so this is known as a kolb's experiential learning model which says activity reflection conceptualization and application arca model of learning so aap kabhi bhi experiential learning karenge aap is model ko follow kare thoda sa aur samjhe is model ko sabse pehle hamara ek experience hota hai hum cycle pe baith jate hain aur chalana shuru kar dete hain उस एक्सपीरियंस के आधार पर हम कुछ ऑब्जर्व करते हैं और सोचते हैं रिफ्लेक्ट करते हैं उसके बाद हम कॉन्सेप्टलाइज करते हैं कि अगर मैं ऐसे बैठता तो शायद मैं नहीं गिरता अगर मैं पैर वहां रखता तो शायद ये होता कॉन्सेप्टलाइज किया हमने फिर हम उसको एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं करके देखो वैसे बैठ के देखो पैर वैसे रख के देखो एक टांग पे बैठो दो पैर पे बैठो चार पैर पे बैठो दो हाथ लगा दो एक भी हाथ मत लगाओ वट यू तो भी एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड वी बिकम बेटर फिर उस एक्सपेरिमेंट से आपको एक एक्सपीरियंस होता है फिर आप उस पर रिफ्लेक्ट करते हो फिर आप कॉन्सेप्टलाइज करते हो फिर उसको ले जाते हो एक्टिव करते हो अगेन यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस इन द साइकिल गोज ऑन एंड ऑन एंड ऑन एंड ऑन टिल यू रीच योर बेस्ट एक्सपीरियंस इन परफॉर्मिंग दैट शॉप सो हियर आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग व्हाट आर दे अभी हमने जितना भी पढ़ा उससे हमने क्या समझा In experiential learning, there is direct participation of the learner. Please pardon me that R is missing in the learner. Direct participation of the learner. It is self-initiated. It's active and dynamic. Dynamic means keeps on changing. Dynamic means keeps changing. Okay. Student-centered. It encourages students to create knowledge because they are they are conceptualizing. They are reflecting. So their knowledge is added to. It involves students' choice. self evaluation real world experience and learning present problems these are the characteristics of experiential learning now what are the methods how can you as a teacher practice experiential learning in your classrooms so field trip is one method normally you know what happens in the field trip we go we come back we enjoy we eat we have uh, drinks we have fun we come back 
बट फील्ड ट्रिप कुड बी अ वेरी गुड मेथड टू प्रैक्टिस एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग सिर्फ आपको याद रखना है कि जो भी आप करेंगे उसमें कॉल साइकिल इन्वॉल्व होना चाहिए पहले वो काम करो फिर रिफ्लेक्ट करिए फिर कॉन्सेप्टुलाइज करिए फिर उसको जाकर प्रैक्टिस करिए उतारिए उसको पूरी नरेटिव्स कंडक्टिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट्स सिमुलेशन सिमुलेशन मींस आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड मॉडल्स गेम्स स्टोरी टेलिंग फोकस्ड इमेजिंग यानी थॉट पिक्चर्स फील्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन रोल प्लेइंग मॉडल बिल्डिंग सर्वेज दीज आर ऑल पेडागोजीज विच लीड टू एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग so the four elements of experiential learning are reflection which teaches us critical analysis and synthesis i hope you remember the word synthesis my favorite taxonomy bloom's taxonomy sabse upar wala paydan tha synthesis yani creation and crit critical analysis means is the 21st century skill when then when you do experiential learning you create opportunities for students to take initiatives make decisions and be accountable for the results हमने ये सोचा कि अगर हम ऐसे बैठेंगे तो ज्यादा अच्छा चला सकेंगे यानी मैंने इनिशिएटिव लिया मैंने डिसाइड किया और मैं वैसे बैठा बैठने के बाद मैं गिर भी सकता हूँ या मैं अच्छा भी चला सकता हूँ सो आई एम अकाउंटेबल फॉर द रिजल्ट्स अकाउंटेबिलिटी सिखाता आपको दैट्स अनदर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी स्किल इट क्रिएट्स अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टू इंगेज इंटेलेक्चुअली क्रिएटिवली इमोशनली सोशली एंड फिजिकली दैट मीन्स अ चाइल्ड इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट बच्चा इज द सेंटर ऑफ द लर्निंग a design learning experience that includes a possibility to learn from natural consequences mistakes and successes agar galti hui to bhi aap zimmedar agar acha ho to bhi aap zimmedar so the biggest thing is the child is responsible for his or her learning process lekin bahut maximum time hamare ulta hota hai the teacher is responsible for the child's learning process and that is why the child takes no accountability मैं होमवर्क करूं ना करूं तो डांट टीचर को पड़ेगी मैं बड़ा पढ़ूं या नहीं डांट टीचर को पड़ेगी मुझे नंबर खराब आए डांट टीचर को पड़ेगी तो बच्चे का कोई रोल ही नहीं है बच्चा अपने आप को अकाउंटेबल समझता ही नहीं किसी चीज के लिए लेकिन अगर आप बच्चे का अकाउंटेबल करेंगे किसी चीज के लिए देन द चाइल्ड विल अंडरस्टैंड कि मेरी अकाउंटेबिलिटी है मेरी जवाबदेही है मैं नहीं करूंगा तो मैं फंसूंगा देखिए कैसे वो इंप्रूव करना शुरू कर देगा सो अ माइंड दैट इज स्ट्रेचड बाय अ न्यू एक्सपीरियंस can never go back to its old dimensions ek baar agar aapko ek nayi khushbudar experience ka hawa lag gaya ek baar aapne cycle chalana seekh liya gaadi chalana seekh liya motorcycle chalana seekh liya cake banana seekh liya shandar photographs lena seekh liye fir aapko koi rok sakta hai kya roz aapke ab insta pe naye pictures aayenge roz message aayega ek new new cake insta pe look at this comment on this so once you learn some See, have a great experience in life. You can just not go back. Let us understand experiential learning through a simple example. आपके स्कूल में जरूरी सब होता होगा. Annual function होगा, annual sports होगा, fete होगा, cultural activities होती हैं, farewell होता है. ये सारी चीजें. For example, you have given the task to your students to organize a book fair for your class. They are organizing a book fair for the class. Now, what is this? What is this? अब इसमें एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग को हम कैसे इनवाइट कर सकते हैं कैसे जोड़ सकते हैं इसको समझने की कोशिश कीजिए कॉल स्टेज याद है आपको पहला स्टेज है एक्टिविटी का स्टेज बच्चे क्या करेंगे डिस्कस करेंगे क्या करना है कैसे करना है कब करना है कहाँ करना है लाइब्रेरी से बात करेंगे टीचर से बात करेंगे मम्मी पापा से बात करेंगे पहले सोचेंगे भाई मैं बुक में गया था वहां ऐसा हुआ वहां ऐसा हुआ यहाँ वैसा हुआ फिर प्लानिंग कौन मेरा चीफ गेस्ट होगा कौन आकर बोलेगा ऑनलाइन होगा कि ऑफलाइन होगा सो दे विल डू दैट Activity will be planned. If you tell your children how to organize a book, what they will do? कुछ ना कुछ तो वो करेंगे. अच्छा करें, बुरा करें, बहुत अच्छा करें, excellent करें, whatever they do. But something they will do. Next stage. Next stage is reflection stage. Now they will start thinking. अरे जो किया हमने book fair, इसको और अच्छा कैसे कर सकते थे? क्या क्या अच्छा हुआ? बहुत अच्छा. क्या क्या उतना अच्छा नहीं हुआ? Next time हम करेंगे तो ये सब गलतियाँ नहीं करेंगे. फीडबैक हम अपना ले फीडबैक को स्टडी करें दिस इज रिफ्लेक्शन स्टेज ठीक है थर्ड स्टेज इज कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइजेशन कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइजेशन मतलब बच्चा सोचता है कि अगर इस बुक फेयर में ये एरिया ऐसे नहीं करके मैं ऐसे करता या हम लोग ऐसे करते तो शायद आउटकम ज्यादा अच्छा हो नाउ द चाइल्ड इज कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइजिंग नाउ वट एपन्स इफ यू आज दैम ओके अगेन लेट एस डू अ बुक फेयर दिस वीक 
सो वॉट विल द चाइल्ड डू जितना भी उसने रिफ्लेक्ट किया कंसेप्चुअलाइज किया वो सारी चीजों को अप्लाई करेगा एंड देन द चाइल्ड विल ट्राई टू पुट अप अ बेटर बुक फेयर स्टार्ट आई यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो अपने स्कूल में मैं क्या करती हूँ हम लोग जब भी कोई एक्टिविटी करते हैं अपने स्कूल में तो इन द टीचर्स मीटिंग स्टाफ मीटिंग वी डिस्कस वॉट पेन गुड वॉट डिड नॉट गो सो वेल we write the not so good points and before doing the next activity we i refer to that page and i discuss with my activity in charge ki dekho pichle wale mein ye kamiyan thi agle mein ye kamiyan nahi honi chahiye and trust me every time we are just improving improving and improving because we are reflecting upon our experiences good wale ka bhali bhul jao bad wale zarur yaad rakho ki kya kya aisi garbad hui thi jisse hame agli baar repeat nahi kar Are you getting my point? So finally, the key takeaway of experiential learning is just because it's hand on, hands on, does not mean it's minds on. दिमाग अगर आप इस्तेमाल नहीं करते हैं, तो सिर्फ experience that will not lead to learning. Experiential learning करानी है आपको. तो जो experience आपकी हो रही है, उस experience से कुछ learning भी होनी चाहिए. लेकिन learning नहीं हो रही है. इसका मतलब ये है कि आपकी एक्सपीरियंस तो हुई लेकिन आपने रिफ्लेक्ट ही नहीं किया आपने कुछ लर्निंग नहीं की सो रिमेम्बर सिर्फ एक्टिविटी करने का मतलब एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग नहीं है एक्टिविटी करके उस पर रिफ्लेक्ट करना इट विल लीड टू एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर यू इफ यू हैव टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन आई थिंक यू कम्पलीटेड फाइव मिनट बिफोर टूडे सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन प्लीज आस्क इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस एनी थिंग यू कैन प्लीज आस्क that brings us to the end of this session thank you but of course i am open for questions if you have any questions please do ask thank you thank you for such a lot of love that you outpoured in the chat box i wish more of answers could have come teachers you get very restless and you start asking for the attendance link 15 minutes before That's not fair enough. I think you can wait for a little more. Yes, please. Questions. I think my friend Simple Ma'am will help me if there are any questions. please if you have got any question please i think there's a slight change in the version of webex isn't it ma'am ha uh, slightly changes so ma'am ma before summing up please ask them about the vidagada in the meantime yes I'll yes of them. course yes ma'am okay so by the time your attendance link comes let me tell you that uh, cbsc has come up with a very ambitious project a very good project which is known as a veer gatha project after all who doesn't want to felicitate the people who are brave and have done something for their country so cbsc this is another please teachers please note that that this is another uh, pro project of cbsc which uh, uh, improves the 21st century skills of the children which improves communication which improves critical thinking which improves communication which improves collaboration of the children so please please do tell your students to participate it's very very important all these activities that cbc does it's got a big role to play in developing the 21st century skills of the students and of course this could help the children develop experiential learning skills as well so my dear teachers if your school has yet not participated in veer gatha project then it's time you motivate your kids and you have to send four entries four entries from each school is um, can be done the four best so all the students will participate you have to select the best and you have to upload it it's as simple as that it's not a very tough job it's a very simple job if any school has yet not done it please go ahead please do it and make bihar come on the top i have completed it so you know i can very that's a reason i can tell you very well i well that it's very easy please go ahead do it it's not a very big uh, deal and diwali is on the corners you are already doing so many activities please add on one or you know what you can do is if you're doing some diwali activity with that only you merge me so 
make the theme that, like that. And then the one activity can serve your dual purposes. And then the best entry can be uploaded. So 31st, 30th with, is the last date that also keep in mind. Yes, yes, yes. So before you go break for Diwali, this has to be completed. It's time we put Bihar on the top this year also. So it's a uh, ma'am. One question somebody has put it. I request that teachers again to place that question. That Please, is about the child that is uh, the parents are telling uh, we are paying fees, the teacher is held responsible for it. What to do in such situations? Uh, if somebody could read the question once. You know what's happening. Uh, I got it. Yes. The question is, if a parent tells that I pay fee of my child and every responsibility, every responsibility is only for teachers. It's each week. It's, it's here. I think uh, what to tell. I think, you know, the parent is correct to an extent because of course, there's a beautiful book, you know, which I read. Long back, I've read this book, Why Students Fail. It's a lovely book. And I think many of you have heard that uh, I always talk about this book. If you read this book, this book very clearly says, Ch children fail because teachers fail. I've been talking about Bloom's taxonomy. I've been talking about learning methods. I've been talking about teaching methods. I've been talking about the bark theory. So if a child fails, that means the teacher has not been able to teach the child in his or her way. Like, you know, we always say while teaching 21st century skills that teach the child the way he or she wants to. Multiple intelligences. What does it say? I am not good in maths. Teach me the music way. I am not good in music. Teach me the uh, interactive way. I'm not good in interaction. Then teach me the in intrapersonal way. I'm not good in intrapersonal, then teach me the nat nature way. So you have to teach the child the way the child understands. That is very, very important. So I know to a large extent teachers are responsible, but of course, but of course, you have to explain the parent that teachers and parents share the dual responsibility. Of course, a lot of it is on the teacher, but even 10% is ahi. They can parent to jawab di leni yogi. At least, we have to revise the revise. 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 At least, we have to revise the revise. 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 जैसे क्लासरूम में माहौल बनाना स्कूल में माहौल बनाना हमारा काम है उसी तरीके से घर में एक माहौल क्रिएट करना पेरेंट्स की रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है लेकिन इसके अलावा बहुत हद तक रिस्पांसिबिलिटी हमारी भी है ए वन मोर क्वेश्चन वाज देयर यस मैम एज इट इज सेड दैट ऑडियो विजुअल लर्निंग इज बेस्ट वन बट स्टिल द लर्निंग इज ओनली 20% व्हाट मे बी व्हाट इज द रीजन मैम इट इज अ रीजन दैट ऑडियो विजुअल लर्निंग एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपेंस द टीचर्स स्विच ऑन ऑडियो विजुअल and that is played. So that is again lecture. Audio visual should be like audio visual means when something is going on on audio visual, then again the teacher's interference is required. The teacher's explanation is required. The child should come back with it. If you just play the audio visual and you expect that the result will be very good, that's not possible. Because then again the audio visual becomes as good as a lecture. See, if you are not आपके कंप्यूटर के मुंह से शब्द निकल रहे हैं डिफरेंस बस इतना ही एक और क्वेश्चन था मैम व्हाट इज द मेथड ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल लर्निंग द मेथड ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल लर्निंग इज कॉल्ड साइकिल द चाइल्ड विल फर्स्ट डू द एक्टिविटी देन द चाइल्ड विल रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन द एक्टिविटी देन द चाइल्ड विल एक्सट्रापोलेट द एक्टिविटी एंड फाइनली द चाइल्ड विल अप्लाई द एक्टिविटी सो दिस दैट इज अ कॉल्ड साइकिल इज द मेथड ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सपोनेंशियल लर्निंग any more questions? Of Mitali's, there is no, uh, not much questions are there and you taught very well. And it was really a wonderful session. Uh, simple ma'am, thank you very much. And uh, over to Himanshu sir.
and it's once again the request to as ma'am has explained very nicely it is a very good project viragada project just before the pavali kindly ask your teacher class teachers also can do it in their level it's a most important role to be played by the class teachers because or you can say any english teacher or hindi teacher any subject teachers because you have to see that if you are facing any issue we will post again what are the activities to be conducted in different segment that will be posted in the different group you can ask your t uh, stnc or principal to forward to you all so that all the class teachers can do it in case if you are not done those who schools are yet not completed the task will be posted in the group so that if your school's name is there kindly take up immediately over to himanshu sir I think, ma'am, have uh, both of them have already discussed about the Veer Gatha project. Uh, the the Patna RO is repeatedly requesting us to to maximize the participant as much as possible. I am also requesting you once again to please do it. It's it's the matter related to the prestige of our zone of our region, and uh, in line with the previous year. Uh, we'll have to excel this year as well we are very very hopeful so requesting you all all the principals stncs teachers to please encourage your students to participate in the Thank you, excuse me sir i'll allow you to continue there is a one more question for uh, mitali ma'am regarding the school rules if i am teaching through english totally but a few students who, that means as per in, uh, school rules one should teach in english only but a few students who do not know english language properly as a teacher i am also don't know hindi properly so what should, uh, should what should i do for a teacher mitali ma'am i would say the... democracy is the best policy democracy is the best policy <laughs> see if your school rule says english completely na no? 100% and there is a child who doesn't understand english at all so first of all your school is not for that child and for developing any language it needs it takes time it takes years to develop a language the skill of a language especially a foreign language so i think a middle path should be taken certain things can be discussed in hindi or for maybe you discuss in english first and then you discuss in hindi of course certain things not everything because i also believe this and i also face the same problem in my school when my teachers come i always say that see if you explain everything in hindi then the child will never learn english because the child is getting everything in hindi why should he or he, she bother to learn english but if you give something and you don't give something then the child will always try to learn and achieve everything like thoda hai थोड़ी you can give some extra help to the child some extra guidance to the child but don't switch over to hindi completely don't switch over to hindi completely because that is going to be difficult okay you have to please understand this this is very very important. absolutely very nice so is there some other question Uh, i would also like to throw light on this regarding school rules so i think uh, nep is very clear on to it keep that also in mind daring english is of course important but uh, 
which class student we are talking about this is also very important which heartland you are talking we are here in the hindi heartland in patna and we have to keep tracking we have to be on ground as well so i i think we are now uh, over with the questions okay so with this we are at the verge uh, to uh, complete the session uh, requesting all the participants the links have already been shared uh, you please uh, feel it by 6:15 and uh, once again a request to adhere to real data project to maximize the, the participation at at the end i would uh, say uh, thank once again to our resource person mitali ma'am our president radhika ma'am thank you sir thank you arvind sir they are thank you radhika mm. ma'am thank you everybody no, simple ma'am and founder sir founder chairman sir cb sir and all the office bearers of aryavarta saurya all the participants all the member principals of aryavarta saurya school so with this now we can conclude the session we can leave it thank you somebody said the link is not working i checked it uh, twice thrice the link is working very fine it you please working. check your it's network once again only i did it it is working ha huh? the link is working yeah